I could not walk. I couldn't lift my head at the time of the injury. It happened in a matter of seconds. So I was skiing on March 25th. A healthcare hero, now a hospital patient herself. So I had laceration to my spleen, laceration to my liver. I unfortunately have to get my kidney removed. I have a devascularized kidney. Katie LaPierre, 24 years old, a newly certified registered nurse, now in the fight of her life. The RN rushed to the ER. This is the fallout from a freak skiing accident. So I have five pins in my pelvis. Um, and then I have a broken C7. I had compression fractures to T1 through T4. And I had some fractures to L1 through L5. It was definitely something I never would have thought happened to myself. A seemingly endless list of injuries. But this is a story of courage, the story of Katie's comeback. Transported to Hartford Hospital after the accident, the Windsor Locks native is now rehabbing at Gaylord Specialty Healthcare in Wallingford. Total role reversal. Um, the role reversal has really, I guess, changed my vision as a nurse, changed my vision of who I want to be as a nurse in the future. Katie, who works in the ER at Bacchus Hospital, has spent the last month making strides. Doctors say soon the wheelchair will be left behind. Emily, this one's for you. And along the way, she's been thanking her fellow nurses with the power of her pen. And it's called Cards for Great Nurses. It says, thank you, you are amazing. Love, Katie. Just inspirational quotes to nurses about being caring. Emily, thank you. Your emotional support goes miles. Nursing was surely your calling. Love, Katie. And then I just started giving them out to some people who made a difference. Aubrey, thank you for always being thorough and attentive. You are great. Love, Katie. The cards keep coming. The rehab regimen for Katie continues. Her main focus now, returning to the front lines, returning to saving lives. Your friends say that you are determined. You're getting back on your feet and you're going to get back to nursing? My goal is to fully recover. Once I recover and I get the okay, my goal is to return to Bacchus. I love my family there. I'm so fortunate that I don't have a spinal cord injury. I am expected to have a full recovery. I am expected to walk. I have full feeling in my arms and all my extremities, and, and I'm just blessed to be able to have that. I think she's really going to take her experience of her injuries and, and what she's been through and just be a much better nurse, if that's even possible. <laughs> this is going to push me more to be a nurse, a better nurse, a changed nurse. And this will change my future forever. In Wallingford, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News. What an inspiration. She is. And she is going to be an incredible nurse. As if she wasn't already, this is going to make her even better. A no promising doubt. postscript to this story here. This evening we learned that Katie took her first steps since that accident happened. Yeah, we have video of it. Take a look at this. This is Katie just a few hours ago, Jim Altman sending in this this evening. She is out of her wheelchair with the help of the team at Gaylord, and she is on the move. So much to celebrate. She hasn't walked since her accident happened back in March. Just incredible. Well done, Katie. One step at a time. And, you know, it's amazing. She's going to make a full recovery. It's just going to take a little bit of time. But look at that progress just today. Major. Incredible. We Congrats. wish her all mm. the luck in the world.